British Future Think Tank report out today a survey of ethnic minorities in Britain, and 80% said they'd rather live in the United Kingdom. They thought, they thought it was the best place to live of all Western countries. And I just thought, isn't that, on the face of it, a bit of good news? I mean, not necessarily. Like... Firstly, um, I mean, you yourself talk a lot about migration. You'll mm. find that migrants that come from countries that are in the English-speaking world, because England was a country that colonised them, would prefer to come to England for a simple logistical fact of the fact that if they go to Spain or if they go to Greece, they're not going to understand what's going on. So probably a lot of people no, are language is it's very better good. for me. No, I accept the language, of course, is good. But, but the specific question was mm -hmm. about attitudes to different races, mm -hmm. right, and about feeling comfortable. I've spent years of my life working in Europe, and I definitely think this is the most open-minded country of any country in Europe. Now, I'm not going to defend other European countries, but I'm also not going to defend the UK. As uh, you, you yourself are a big criticizer of the idea that the UK forms a part of Europe, um, or forms a part of the European Union, or at least That's have been hysterically. They are different things. They're different things, but yeah. the UK is a part of Europe, and the UK is a part of the European continent, um, no, we're not. We're an island. Well, you're an island. Yeah, go on, go but on. Then Japan, <laughs> go on, then, go on. then Japan isn't part of Asia, with that logic. <laughs> well, it's not part of China. It's not part, it's not of, part China, of China, that's for but it is part yeah, of on. Asia. Um, and the UK shares, with a lot of other European countries, a very dark history. Um, the UK was a colonial country. Spain was a colonial country. Um, France was a colonial country. As Germany was, was a colonial country. As yeah, was Belgium. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Europe yeah. has a colonial history. Spain, Portugal... France, all engaged in the slave trade, the UK engaged in the slave trade. All of these dark parts of the European history, which have led to attitudes of racism and prejudice and, and parts, xenophobia, And there are dark are parts shared. of African history as well, aren't there? There are dark I mean, parts there were, of African there were, history. There were plenty but... of African slave traders actually selling the slaves. There were some African British... slave no, traders No, no, no. I mean, so, I mean, this is... There were but, also... Like, course, this there is also a dead argument at the end of the well, day. Well, hang on. If, if, you if, if you want to have that argument... If, 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 you, if you give me your son on a plate and I, I do something dodgy with him, then you can't defend yourself saying, Oh, well, I, there were the Barbary pirates. The Barbary pirates from North Africa took nearly a million white slaves from the a West million. Coast to the how many, how many black yeah, slaves sure, sure, sure. were All trafficked saying, across look, the Atlantic? Two wrongs don't make a right. Are you, but this report is about where we are today, right? But this report is, 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 is a survey. I mean, do we know anything about this think tank? Can you tell me anything about this think they're, tank? They're a pretty neutral think tank, British Future. What, they're, not, they're not left. They're what's not their right. background? They're looking into social attitudes. But what's, the, what's their background? What, they're, 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 what's, what gives them any credibility? Well, it's a poll conducted mm -hmm. by Focal Data, who are a member of the British Polling mm -hmm. Council, right? So that's the point to get... You know, the point to hoist on board mm -hmm. is this has been done by a legitimate polling company. Mm -hmm. Now, what the poll also says is that many members of the ethnic communities believe there is some form of discrimination in the country today. And, and so, I'm, you know, this, I'm being balanced with this. Yep. That's what they say. All I'm saying to you, Femi, is I just get this narrative too often that somehow, I, I think our schools are teaching it, that somehow this country is uniquely evil. And actually, it's not uniquely. Even actually, Europe, Europe has a history. Look at look at Germany. Alternative for Deutschland becoming the second biggest <laughs> party part in the country. Look at look at France and Marine Le Pen. Europe as a as a oh, continent oh. has a very dark relationship to other parts of the world because Europe being one of the wealthier parts of the world, and you mentioned the West as an entity that includes the United States, that includes I, Australia, New Zealand. But oh. we talk about migration here. We talk about sending yeah. back all of the people. Right, are the indigenous people of... We talk about the indigenous Brits. Are the indigenous people of New Zealand white? Are the indigenous people of America no. white? No, because uh, they travel uh, no, 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 no. around the world and they set up other places and, and, and people move. And at the end of the day, if we have, if we have this concept of the West... Of course, there are going to be people in Britain who say that it's nicer to be in Britain than in France or in Germany, but it's not necessarily a, a good thing to say we're better than another country that also has racist attitudes. We're better than another country are, that are, also are hates migrants. We're better than another country are you that also... Are you suggesting that the AFD, are you suggesting that the National Rally in France, mm -hmm. are you suggesting that the Brothers of Italy, are you suggesting these are all racist parties? Oh, of course. I mean, these parties generally, they're, they're xenophobic parties. They're parties that deny, deny the history of 
their own countries and deny the relationship that their countries have to other parts of the world in terms of I colonialism. I, in terms I don't of think any German political party denies its awful history. Oh, no, they do. They don't deny the Holocaust, which happened in Europe. Most of them would have nothing to do with talking about Namibia and the Herero massacre in Namibia. Parts of it there. What history. would you like to see happen? The Holocaust is one dark part of what, German what history. What would you like to one see One dark part of Germany. What would you like to see happen? What would I like to see happen? Across Europe or in the UK? In the or in UK. general? In the UK, oh, I'd like to see a huge shift in our understanding of our past, for one. Well, I'd, be, I'd be proud that we stamped out slavery, you mean? Be proud that we stamped out slavery. And we did. If Jimmy Savile stops, at, at stop, cost stops of himself lives, doing, doing the, kiddly fiddling, do, do you, you get to say that he never did it in the past? Do you not? Do you not acknowledge the role? Out slavery. Do you the first not country to get rid of slavery was Haiti. You, and you know how they did it? Do you know how they did it? Do you know? Do you know I have how no they, idea. You have no idea about that history, about Haiti. I'm not an expert on Haiti, Literally having a revolution and chopping off the slave masters' heads because ah. they were enslaving them and there was a violent revolution to get rid of slavery in Haiti. And there was a violent revolution to get rid of slavery in <laughs> do Haiti. Do you acknowledge... William Wilberforce coming along and singing Amazing Grace is not the first you time we got rid of do you acknowledge the slave role, trade. Do you acknowledge the role of the Royal Navy over decades in stamping out the slave trade and this affected millions of um, people. Let me tell you a bit about it. First of all, they, they got rid of the slave trade. They didn't get rid of slavery. Firstly, they, they, they initially, you initially... Accept, well, no, 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 you no, let me, let me respond no, no, no. to your question. very simple question. To your question. We're out of time. Do you acknowledge... Do I acknowledge... ...the extraordinary role... No. ...that the Royal Navy played in stamping out I slavery? I think that the ending of slavery was largely an economic decision in terms of the UK. Also... I think that they oh abolished dear. the slave trade. They didn't even abolish slavery. For a while, we weren't allowed we to spent, sail on the waters. We spent it's nonsense, isn't it, for me to say that I have stopped doing something and I should be proud of it when I led one of the most barbarous... And we then stopped one of the others most barbarous, doing it. And we then stopped others doing it. One of the most barbarous things in human history. Do you like this country? slave trade. Do I like Britain? Oh, I love loads of Britain. Loads of parts of Britain. Uh, do you I like this country? Loads of parts of Britain I don't like. Do you like this country? Do I like this country? Mm. I like parts of Britain. I like Britain as a thriving, bubbling, multicultural centre of, of, of creativity and of diversity. I don't like the parts of Britain that are reactionary, xenophobic, anti-migrant, anti-people and completely delusional about the British past. And you don't like completely our history? Completely delusional about, about and, and, and British you don't past. like our history? Oh, I like parts of British history. But, I don't like well, most well, of British well, history. And, and there's no country in the world where you'd like all the history. Oh, no, 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 no. All no, no. I will say to you at the, at the conclusion of this is, I think it's disappointing. Yes, there are problems. Yes, of course, our history with everybody else's is far from perfect. It's disappointing. Did every country in the world have an empire it's, that spanned half of the globe? And you name me an empire in the history of humankind that has now formed a commonwealth of... Over 50 common, countries. What commonwealth? And new ones joining... What commonwealth? And they're leaving. The Jamaica wants to leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> they're leaving no, 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 no. because they don't want Charles to be their not. king because they they've got nothing not. to do with the UK. They are not Apart leaving. from the fact that the UK were their colonial actually, overlords. Actually, They are leaving. Actually, they don't want Charles on their five pound countries notes. They don't want Charles on their the ten pound family. notes. They Listen, don't want you moment, anymore. You might learn something. Commonwealth doesn't want you Countries anymore, Countries like Mozambique, that were never even part of the British Empire, are now joining the Commonwealth. Nonsense. Fact. Nonsense.